Michaela Vogley, what's your favorite part about speech? My favorite part about speech is the whole environment of like the speech culture. It's unlike any other activity. Um, being able to speak in front of people and meeting new friends and just having fun. Like in high school, like you can go up to people and just start talking to them about the dumbest thing and they will continue to talk to you about it and you can make really good friends. Well, you get to meet a lot of people. I guess that's pretty, pretty fun. It's really fun because you get to meet tons of new people. You can go to different places. Um, everyone getting along and like how good that I got to see other people do. Um, probably getting new pieces because you get to create your own character for each piece and piece and then making a bunch of new friends. And we play a lot of chess. For some reason everyone in speech is into chess. I don't know why, but that's I've just met a lot of people that were hip and fun. That's really fun because you have a lot of downtime at speech meets to hang out with them, get to know them a lot better, laugh, cry, get mad at them. Bailey Vondra, what's your favorite part about speech? The light. You're talking! <laughs> My favorite part about speech would be finding the piece that fits best for you. Because since there's different categories, it might be hard to find which category fits best for you right away. Because you get to speak however you want because there's so many different categories. Public speaking is a really important tool you need in your life, and I feel like speech gives a lot of kids the confidence to do that, which you will need later in life. First you're going to eat my pizza, and now you're rocking my interview. One bite. No, I'm not eating it. I'm not going to eat it. What's your favorite part about speech? <sighs> my favorite part about speech? <laughs> <laughs> no, you eat that pizza, because I'm not going to eat it. No, I'm not. Oh. Dylan, if you don't eat a piece, I'm going to make you eat a piece. I think my f it happened again. I voice cracked on think. I don't know what's going on. It's like I Don't say I think. <laughs> don't say I think. Second. My favorite part about speech is the learning process of it. Getting to make new friends with people you may never have thought you'd meet ever in your life and those people becoming your closest friends. I'm so proud of Bailey. She's gotten so much out of life because of those speech skills. So much. So much indeed. Everyone is just so awesome in speech, so friendly, so freaking awesome. I made such great friends in speech and I just, they'll be everlasting friends throughout my whole life and I really appreciate it. I'll definitely going up and speaking. That's what speech is. And that's my favorite part of it. Even if you're bad at speaking, still do speech because no one cares and everyone is in the same boat as you and is scared of the judge, so just do it. <laughs> What was your most memorable moment in this speech season? I guess getting breaking finals was pretty fun. First try. All me, by the way. I think getting into finals for the first time. It was towards the end of the season, and I feel like it was a really big part because it helped me and actually motivated me to try harder. That was pretty fun. We both broke, me and Tristan broke both finals the first time we did it. So that was pretty memorable. It helped me understand how I did better compared to my last rounds and how I could do better and improve. And it just changed me a lot. I got to sub in for um, one person and I got seventh place. Yeah, seventh place in it. I think my most memorable moment was the first time doing EPR. They got the times wrong and I was an hour late. I had two minutes to prepare a speech, but really I just had two minutes to find my room and just speak it. And that was fun and memorable because it just showed me how I can improvise so often. I don't need to freak out during these EPR pieces and during a bunch of these because I've already done the worst I possibly could. Probably hanging with my friends at finals and then when we broke in finals because I broke in storytelling and entertain and it was really fun because it was my first like second time doing entertain and it's really cool. When Brick and I, the whole meet, our first meet here at Beulah, 
thought we were trash, we're not going to actually do this piece the rest of the year, and then we stayed qualified, because that was the arrangement, is if we stayed qualified, we would do the piece at state, and we did, and so here we are. <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG. My most memorable moment was probably like getting closer to everyone on the team. Um, at the beginning of the year, I didn't really talk to a lot of like, the, especially the high school kids on the team. I really appreciate all the memories that I've made with everyone and being able to spend five in the morning every Saturday with everybody because like, they're some of my favorite people. And like I said, speech, you just meet the coolest people you will ever meet. And going to state was cool too, so I mean, I need to stop doing this. Okay. <laughs> Tom, I broke finals, so I broke a bathroom door trying to let my partner know we broke finals. Wait, so hold up. What speech make did that happen at? Like last season. Last season. Yeah. This season or last, last season? season. Last season. This season. You know oh, this season. I don't have any memories of this season. You know what my favorite quote of his was? Like my favorite quote of all speech season was? I got a one. What? They give me a one. What is your most memorable moment about speech? The most memorable moment is getting third at state, definitely, because whoever would have thought that would happen, am I right? Everyone, but okay. <laughs> We are burning this table live when we get done, right? What? I don't, I don't even want to show this to everyone. <laughs> Do speech. You won't regret it. We are all great people. That sounds really self-centered, but like, it'll give you tools that are priceless. That's not the right word, but... See, you can do speech, you'll know, think of better words. Like, do better than Kayla, you know? And you get to spend time with me, so... That's a deal maker. Brick shoot? Get him over here. No, he is. He's in, he's in Minnesota. Botany, is he? He's in Minnesota. Why is Brick in Minnesota? Brick! <laughs> he won't be here for the banquet either, I don't think. Brick shoot? I'm disappointed in you.